Eric Roman, still a high school senior, but unlike any other kid, he had his future plans all figured out. He decided what he wanted to be. His room was full of police badges lining up there. Eric is 17 years old. His long life dream of becoming a police officer is enhanced by all of the skills he is trying to learn to improve himself. He is not a police officer yet, with no badge and no station car, but he always carries around with him a first aid equipment that he is prepared to use on any occasion and under any circumstances. A young man such as Eric with this much determination and motivation can do so much to help the society. They just need to be given a chance to prove themselves. And Eric is very much aware of the position he longs for which is guarding and protecting. No later than needed, Eric had the chance to demonstrate himself and his abilities. It happened in an expressway on Staten Island. When Eric was driving down the road, when an older woman walking alone down the streets caught his attention, she seemed like enjoying this walk wasn't an option. It wasn't long enough before Eric knew right after careful consideration that this woman needed help. Eric immediately knew that something was way off with the woman, and he thought to himself that it's about high time that he shows his skills and what he was capable of and able to do. The young Eric stepped out of his car instantly without wasting any more time and said to the woman, I don't want you to fall. The woman's name was Laura Farr. She was 87 years old. She was walking to go straight to her grandchildren, and she had no idea that this trip was unfortunate for her because her grandchildren lived only a few blocks away from her. As a matter of fact, walking down this road wasn't a problem for her because she used to it. Walking wasn't the main problem here. It wasn't what got her all disoriented and trembling. Earlier that day, someone pulled over and offered Laura a ride. She accepted the gesture, but she ended up getting a bit motion sick and confused. People who are used to getting car sick understand the feeling perfectly. Maybe it happened because she was walking in a very medium speed, but as soon as she got into the car, the speed changed, so she started to feel that way. Or maybe the driver wasn't a very good one after all. Regardless of what was the real reason, Laura stepped out of the car at the end of time, and she kept on walking and that's when Eric spotted her. Soon after that, Eric decided to call the ambulance to rush Laura to the hospital for a better examination and diagnostic. Laura was lacking will to go because of what she just experienced in the car before. But Eric ended up convincing her to go since the situation was becoming very serious. He kept talking to her and comforting her by saying, I'll hold your hand, you know. When you go the ambulance, let them take and check you. It wasn't long when Laura came to the conclusion that she really needed to get some help and that leaving her on the side of the road wasn't really an option for her even if the ambulance could make her a little lighted in this. As soon as she came back home for her interview with CBS, she didn't miss the chance to tell him how much all of what Eric done meant to her. She was really moved by his kind gesture. The story didn't quite end there. Eric kept coming by her home to visit her on a daily basis. He even brings her flowers to make her feel good. Experiments show evidence that helping others may just be the secret to a happy life. Eric is a very well-behaved teenager. What he had done to Laura was remarkable, and we can't imagine what will happen to Laura if he wasn't there for her in time.